Hey there, nocturnal explorers. Welcome back to our channel where we shed light on the dark side of nature. Today, we're delving into the enigmatic world of nocturnal animals. Those creatures that come alive when the sun goes down and the moon takes center stage. These creatures are specially adapted to thrive in the dark, and their unique abilities are nothing short of awe-inspiring. They've evolved to master the night, navigating their way around the world with astonishing precision, using senses that far surpass our own. Take bats, for instance. Contrary to the age-old myth, bats aren't blind. In fact, they have quite good eyesight. However, to navigate the night, they rely heavily on a technique called echolocation, which is essentially nature's version of sonar. It's a pretty cool party trick, wouldn't you agree? And then we have the silent ninjas of the night, Owls. These birds have feathers with fringed edges that help break up turbulence, allowing them to fly silently. Imagine being able to sneak up on your prey without making a sound. It's no wonder they're such effective hunters. But it's not just birds and bats that come alive at night. There's a whole host of other creatures that thrive under the moon's glow. The Ai Ai, the world's largest nocturnal primate, uses its long, bony finger to tap on trees and find bugs. And the kangaroo rat, a desert dweller, can survive without drinking a single drop of water. As we go deeper into the night, we'll encounter geckos with nano-engineered sticky toes, luna moths that don't have mouths, and giant squids with eyes the size of basketballs. And let's not forget the red pandas, which, despite their name, aren't actually pandas. So buckle up, fellow night explorers, we're about to embark on a fascinating journey that will take us into the heart of the night where we'll meet some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. Get ready to be amazed as we uncover some surprising facts about our night-dwelling friends. Contrary to popular belief, bats have pretty good eyesight. Yes, you heard that right. These intriguing creatures of the night are not blind, as many of us have been led to believe. Instead, they possess a unique sensory ability that's quite remarkable. Imagine being able to navigate through pitch-black darkness with the precision of a guided missile. Sounds like a superhero power, doesn't it? Well, for bats, this is just everyday life. They use a technique called echolocation, which involves sending out high-frequency sounds that bounce off objects, providing information about their surroundings. This built-in sonar system allows them to dart and weave with agility, even in complete darkness. So, next time you think about bats, don't picture them clumsily bumping into things. Instead, imagine them soaring through the night, deftly avoiding obstacles with the help of their own natural sonar. It's quite a sight to behold, or rather a sound to echo. Hashbat goals, am I right? Ever wonder how owls sneak up on their prey without making a sound? It's quite the feat, isn't it? Well, it turns out the secret is in their feathers. Owls, unlike most birds, have a unique feather structure that aids in their silent flight. Each feather has a soft, velvety layer that reduces the noise of air rushing over the surface. Additionally, the edges of these feathers are fringed, breaking up the air as it flows over them. This reduces turbulence, the primary source of noise in bird flight, allowing owls to glide through the air as quietly as a whisper. In essence, their specialized feathers act as natural noise-canceling devices. It's like having a stealth mode enabling them to sneak up on their prey or slip away from predators unnoticed. They're essentially the silent ninjas of the bird world, prowling the night with unmatched stealth. Who knew hooting could be so sneaky? Meet the Ai Ai, the world's largest nocturnal primate. Hailing from the island of Madagascar, the Ai Ai is a creature that's as fascinating as it is eerie. Its most distinctive feature is an unusually long, bony, and skeletal middle finger. Now you might wonder, what's the deal with this creepy digit? Well, it's not just for show. The Ai Ai uses this elongated finger in a hunting technique called percussive foraging. It taps on tree bark, creating a sound that echoes through the wood. This helps the Ai Ai locate hollow chambers within, which often harbor their favorite meals, grubs, and insects. Once the Ai Ai detects a potential feast, it gnaws a small hole in the wood and uses that same long finger to fish out its dinner, so, while it might not win any beauty contests, the Ai Ai's unique finger is a masterpiece of evolutionary design. Ai Ai, Captain, let's find some snacks. Imagine living in the desert and not needing to sip a drop of water. 
Sounds impossible, right? But for the kangaroo rat, it's just another day in the life. These fascinating creatures have adapted to their harsh environment in a way that can make any desert dweller green with envy. They've cracked the code to desert survival by getting all their water needs from the seeds they consume. Yes, you heard right, they don't drink water. Instead, they've mastered the art of metabolic water production, a fancy term which simply means they convert the food they eat into water. It's like having your own private water factory. And their kidneys? They're super efficient, ensuring minimal water loss through urine. Plus, they've got a nifty trick of conserving moisture by exhaling cool, dry air. These tiny rodents are a testament to the power of adaptation and survival. Talk about being self-sufficient. Geckos are known for their impressive climbing skills. These agile little reptiles can scurry up trees, race along branches, and even dart up vertical glass windows. But how do they manage these gravity-defying feats? The answer lies in their toes. Geckos have millions of tiny hairs known as setae on their feet. Each seta branches off into hundreds of smaller tips, making the surface area of a gecko's foot incredibly large at a microscopic level. These setae interact with surfaces on a molecular level, creating a type of adhesive force known as van der Waals forces. These forces allow geckos to stick to almost any surface, no matter how smooth or slippery it might be. Interestingly, geckos can also control this adhesion, peeling their feet off surfaces with ease when they need to move. It's like having Velcro built into your feet. Luna moths may be beautiful, but they're also on a serious mission. These creatures are a testament to nature's grand design, where every detail has a purpose. Luna moths, unlike most of their insect brethren, don't have a mouth. Yes, you heard it right, they don't eat at all. Now you might be thinking, how do they survive without eating? Well, they don't have to. These moths live a remarkably brief adult life, lasting only about one week. During this time, their singular focus is to mate and lay eggs. They don't need to eat because they have stored enough energy in their bodies during their caterpillar stage to sustain them throughout their adult life. So while we humans worry about what's for dinner, these fascinating moths are literally living on borrowed time, making the most of every moment. It's a love story that unfolds under the moonlight, a tale of survival, reproduction, and sacrifice. Talk about a crash diet. When it comes to night vision, giant squids take the cake, or should we say the calamari. These colossal creatures of the deep truly embody the phrase, seeing is believing. Their eyes, each comparable in size to a basketball, are the largest of any animal on Earth. In the inky blackness of the ocean's depths, where the sun's rays struggle to penetrate, these sizable optics provide the giant squid with a significant survival advantage. Their huge eyes are designed to detect the faintest glimmers of light, the twinkle of bioluminescent prey, the silhouette of a predator against the dim glow from above. It is a world where light is sparse, but thanks to their enormous eyes, giant squids have adapted to thrive in the dark. So, next time you're feeling in the dark, remember the giant squid. With eyes the size of basketballs, it's like having high-definition goggles for exploring the depths. Despite their name, red pandas are not closely related to giant pandas. In fact, they belong to their own unique family, the Aluridae. These adorable creatures are the only members of this family, making them quite the exclusive club in the animal kingdom. This nocturnal mammal, with its striking red fur and raccoon-like features, hails from the Himalayas and southwestern China, where it spends most of its life in trees. The red panda's diet primarily consists of bamboo, but unlike the giant panda, they also indulge in a variety of other foods like fruits, acorns, and eggs. Talk about a diverse palate. And when it comes to communication, red pandas have a few tricks up their furry sleeves. They use body language and a series of quirky sounds, including a unique quack snort that you'd never expect from such a cute creature. So the next time you see a red panda, remember, they're not just miniature versions of the giant pandas we all know and love. They're a unique species with their own fascinating nocturnal habits. Now isn't that a fun fact to share at your next trivia night?